What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Sports TV, and I am back with another video. Before I get into the video, go ahead and smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and that post notification bell button to get notified every time I upload content. Also, follow me on Instagram at Colossal underscore Sports TV. Now, let's get into the video. I will post links to the video, I mean, to the articles in the description below from 3kingsboxing.com so you all can check it out for yourself. But the top two seeds in the junior welterweight portion of the World Boxing Super Series tournament have selected their opponents. Number one seed, Regis Prograde, has selected former WBO lightweight champion Terry Turbo Flanagan, who is coming off of his long defeat in his career at the hands of newly crowned WBO junior welterweight champion Maurice Hooker. Um, those guys fought for the vacant title where we saw Hooker win a well-deserved split decision in Terry uh, Flanagan's backyard. Obviously, your initial thoughts, my initial thoughts when you see this matchup is that you got to uh, tip your hat into favor of Regis Progray. Um, from a physicality standpoint, Terry Flanagan isn't a big puncher. He's not overly strong, although he showed the ability to hurt Maurice Hooker when they fought. But maybe that's just because Maurice Hooker doesn't have as sturdy as a chin as a guy like Pro Great, or maybe the power. Uh, he gained more power as he moved up to a new weight class. But whatever the case is, physical phys physicality wise, is not there. But you know, Flanagan can move, he can box, he can counter. He's a solid fighter. So I'm not saying he has no chance at all in this fight by no means because this is boxing and anything can happen. And he will be by far Regis Progray's best opponent he's fought. Yes, I know Julius Ndongo is on his resume, but still, skill-wise, I think that Terry Flanagan is better than Julius Ndongo. Now, let's go to the number two seed, Josh Taylor, who is 13-0 with 11 knockouts. One of my favorite um, young fighters along with Pro Gray, um, 1A and 1B. They're picked to you know reign over the junior welterweight division. Um, he has selected unseeded Ryan Martin, who is undefeated, 22-0, 12 knockouts. He's from Akron, Ohio, but I think he fights out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, he's a blue-chip prospect. And he's daring to be great by entering the tournament with the likes of a pro Gray Flanagan, uh, Taylor, you know, Relic, and guys like that. Uh, you look at his resume or you look at his record, it tell you he got a solid punch, but he's not anything of a monstrous puncher like pro Gray is um, or Josh Taylor. But he can box. Uh, he got some nice height on him. I think he's 5'9", 5'10". And like I said, he won a lot of national amateur tournaments as an amateur. And, you know, he has a bright future. I'm not too familiar with him, but I will be studying film on him this weekend um, and throughout next week to get familiar so I can give you the best fight analysis uh, possible. But let's look at the other matchups, man. <clears throat> we have number three seed from Barris. Kirill Relic, who is 22 and 19, or 22 and 2 with 19 KOs, he will be making a mandatory defense of his WBA super lightweight title against Russia's uh, Edward Travansky, who is 27 and 1 with 24 KOs. Uh, this fight right here has the chance to be a fight of the year type fight. Both guys come to um, fight. Both guys possess fight game, uh, fight change in power. I mean, I don't expect this fight to go the distance at all. So I expect it to be a battle from the opening, um, from the opening bell until, you know, one guy is laying on their back, looking up in the stars, wondering what the fuck just happened. Um, so I'm looking forward to that fight. And you have the number four seed, uh, Sweden's Anthony Yigit, who's 21 and O, one draw with seven knockouts. He will be fighting um for. Uh, the vacant IBF um, junior welterweight title that was given up by um, Mikey Garcia. He's going to be fighting Ivan Baranchink, another guy who who's solid. He can punch in box. He's 18-0 with 11 knockouts. I'm, I'm familiar with him. I forget the guy he fought, but he put on a hell of a performance. Um, 
He goes to the body well, has some good hand speed. He's tough. You know, of course, he's hittable, but he's an exciting fighter. I think this tournament is going to be off the charts, man. I love what, you know, everybody involved um, is doing with this. It is bringing boxing back to prominence with these big names, these young fighters that has a chance to go on to be superstars uh, in this sport. And I think that it's going to be action-packed all the way through. And hopefully, hopefully, we get – Regis Program versus Josh Taylor, but all fans want the best. And if whoever make it to the final, obviously would be the better man. So hopefully, man, um, watch out for Ryan Martin, who I think can do some things. Um, and also watch out for the winner of the the, the Relic and the Travinsky fight. You know, those guys possess big punching power. And, you know, Regis Progray, Josh Taylor, our favorite. And rightfully so, but they can't sleep on these guys. They will be fighting. So we're gonna see how this tournament shakes out. Before I wrap this video up, I wanna say, man, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get back to doing consistent videos, try to drop three or four a day, more fight analysis, um, less news, unless it's something that's legitimate and worth talking about. Also gonna bring other sports videos, football about to kick and kick start, so I got some stuff on that. NBA, MMA all kind of shit. I'm going to start incorporating movie and TV shows reviews, uh, movie and TV show reviews as well. Um, share these videos, man, across all your uh, social media platforms. Uh, check out 3kingsboxing.com daily for your latest and greatest updated, unfiltered, and unbiased boxing news reported the way it should be. And shout out to everybody in the movement that is moving with us. So until next time, I am out. Peace.